This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Fluid level checks. Open the driver's side door and pull the hood release lever located by the kick panel. Pull the hood safety latch forward, then raise the hood. Brake fluid level. The brake master cylinder reservoir is located on the driver's side of the engine compartment firewall. The fluid level should be maintained between the max and min lines marked on the side of the reservoir. If the fluid level is low, wipe the top of the reservoir and cap with a clean rag to prevent contamination of the system when the cap is unscrewed, then unscrew the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. While the reservoir cap is off, check the fluid in the reservoir for contamination. If rust deposits, dirt particles, or water droplets are present, the system should be properly drained, refilled, and bled. Top up the reservoir with the correct type of new brake fluid until the fluid reaches the max mark. Use a funnel to prevent spills. After filling the reservoir to the proper level, install the cap and make sure the cap is fully seated to prevent fluid leakage or contamination. Engine oil level. Pull the dipstick out of the tube and wipe all of the oil off the end with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube and pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. The level should be between the min and max marks on the dipstick. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube. If it's necessary to add oil, unscrew the oil filler cap and pour in the correct type of oil. Use a funnel to prevent spills. Reinstall the filler cap and tighten it by hand only. After adding oil, wait a few minutes to allow the level to stabilize, then pull out the dipstick and check the level again. Add more oil if required until it reaches the max mark. Do not overfill the engine. Coolant level. A coolant expansion tank is located on the right side of the engine compartment and is connected by hoses to the radiator and cooling system. The coolant level will vary with the temperature of the engine. When the engine is cold, the coolant level should be at or slightly above the min mark on the tank. Once the engine has warmed, the coolant level should be at or near the max mark. If the level falls below the min line, allow the engine to cool. Then unscrew the cap from the expansion tank and add the correct type and mixture of coolant to bring the level to a little above the min line. If only a small amount of coolant is required to bring the system up to the proper level, water can be used. However, repeated additions of water will dilute the antifreeze and water solution. Install the cap on the expansion tank and tighten it securely. Drive the vehicle, then recheck the coolant level. windshield washer fluid level. Fluid for the windshield washer system is stored in a plastic reservoir located at the left front side of the engine compartment in front of the battery. Flip open the cap and fill the windshield washer reservoir as necessary. Push the cap securely onto the opening when finished. 